everybody, welcome back to Barga Bros. Um, and it's only been a couple of days since I did my last video, but we went and did our first car boot as a reseller, looking to buy stock to sell on. So I'm just kicking this under here. So I've been out there today. Um, <coughs> it's Wednesday. I've still got the COVID. Well, I haven't got the COVID. I've still got the cough. But went out. Um, there's one. The other side of Norwich from me. I, um, I think it's Almingham or somewhere like that. Little village which does one every Wednesday and every Sunday. Starts seven thirty. I didn't actually get there to eight thirty, which was a bit of a mistake because I think a lot of stuff went early. But I thought I'd give it a go. I had a little bit of money. I thought I'm going to see what I can source, and it's the first car boot I've been to with the reselling head on, with me looking at it through the lens of I'm trying to buy stuff, and I've got some really good stuff actually. Didn't get a lot. But I got some good stuff. Unfortunately, I didn't have the GoPro sorted yet, so I wasn't able to show you me walking around and look, sourcing stuff. But hopefully next time I go, which might be next Wednesday, I will have that all sorted. But I thought I'd show you what I've got. Also made a couple of sales. So um, we sold these two games together. Uh, I think they went for about, I think it went for £6.50 for the two. And I got rid of this Avatar game, which is sealed. That went for... £8.50, remember correctly. So we, we've done some sales so far. This this little venture has started off. I've also got something I've got to pick up later, which I'm going to show you what I'm picking up, which could be a big money maker in the big furniture and stuff. But let me show you real quick what I picked up from the car boot, um, and you, you can let me know if you think I've done well or not, and I'll then we'll go into a little bit more detail. So, like I said, it's not a massive haul. It's just some bits and bobs. I'm just testing the water with a lot of the stuff I'm buying. I got these um, three mugs from pretty much the same place, a pound each. Um, I picked up these four bigger uh, action figures. They were £10, including these. So, And originally it was going to be £12. I got them down to 10 I might have overspent. I don't know. But we're going to go into a bit more detail in a minute. And then I bought these Hot Wheels. They actually had two big bags of Hot Wheels, but they weren't sell it, willing to sell the bags. So I had to buy them 50p each. But I thought I'll just give them a go and see what I can get for them. So I have had a look at all these real quick on eBay, sort of seeing what the prices they were going for. And we'll go into them in a bit more detail now on why I bought them. Um, and let me know in the comments what you think if I'm buying the right stuff, if I'm making the right choices. Because obviously I'm a noob to this, complete noob. But, so first off, got this, um, this uh, what is it, a Nightmare Before Christmas. It's got a bit of wear on it. It's not in very great condition. It has got bits. In, I, I don't know if you can see, but there are little marks and stuff. So it's not in great condition, but I know the Nightmare Before Christmas, that sells, stuff sells really well, really well. Um, I got this for a pound. Some in really good condition are selling for sort of like 20 quid. This is marked up. I might get a tenner for it. When I first saw it, I thought I'd grab that and because it was laying down on the table, I couldn't really see the marks. Um, but some of these are selling for around 20 quid. So with the damage, with the marks and everything, might get a tenner for it. I thought that was a good good start. Next up, I can't remember a name. I'm pretty sure it's Beauty and the Beast, isn't it? Um, Bella. There we go. Bella mug. Disney mug. Disney stuff always sells well. I know that for a fact. I saw it. It was going for a pound. I thought, well, you know, £10 maybe. £10. I quite like that. My wife would love it, but she's not having it. It's getting sold. <laughs> but I thought Disney stuff, mugs, they sell well. £10. All day long. Same for this. This is a Minnie Mouse mug. These these all came from the same place. I'm guessing they went to uh, Disneyland. They had a load of like Sea World mugs as well. And I was sort of looking and thinking, should I just grab the lot? But then I, I this was more of a test to buy a load of little bits and see what they sort of go for. Um, a test run. But this um, I've checked it up. These sell for ten pound all day long. It's a nice mug. It's in the packaging. Disney again. Um, ceramic mug. It says all the details are on the back. I thought that's a really good solid buy. You can see that it says two pound here, which said a pound if I buy the both pound each. So I'm happy with that. Right next up, like I said, the Hot Wheels. I bought. I got four. This cost me two quid. I'm actually, I'm two pound for these four. Now you might think, well, why on earth have you bought a lot of little cars? Apparently, there's a big market for Hot Wheels. Sorry, I've got to keep drinking because my throat keeps drying up. Um, Big market for Hot Wheels. They had two massive bags full of Hot Wheels. And I thought, oh, I wonder if I can grab the two bags for a good price. So I asked them and they said, no, we're not going to sell them as bulk, which I thought was really odd. He said, yeah, it's going to cost you a lot if you buy them all. 
when, when I buy more, I want it, you know, I'm looking to get them cheaper. That's the whole point. But then they went, nah, 50p, 50p a figure. I was like, okay, fair enough. So I thought I'll pick out four. Um, probably not the best. One thing I have learned is I need to take more time because I'm sort of grabbing stuff going, oh, that's all right, and grabbing it. Right now already I can see this one's already got a little bit of damage. It's chipped on the paint, so that probably won't go for much. But 50p each, these go for, if this was in its box, it would be about £11, which I was shocked by. I really was. This is the Hot Wheels. My, my son and his uh, friend are obsessed with Hot Wheels. So out of the box, they're about £3 each. Now, I know there are certain ones which are really rare and stuff that go for a lot of money, you know, 20, 30, 40 quid a pop. But um, but I thought I'd buy four, and then I can sort of test the water, see what they go for, how long it takes them to sell. Two pound investment, I'll get my money back, and I'll also see, do they sell quick? Don't they sell quick? If I see a big bundle, should I just buy them? I think I should, because from what I've seen so far, I can definitely make money off them. It's just, is it worth the time and effort? So it was just a bit annoying that they wouldn't sell the two bags because there must have been what? Probably 50, 60 cars in total. Um, and I probably would have gone to 20 quid for the lot, but they went, no, it's going to be a lot of money. I was like, I'm not doing it. Not for that. If I'm buying that much stuff, I want to get a good discount. Right, next up, we'll do these. Now, I actually thought these were all four were the same, but they're not. This one's slightly different. These were a pound. Well, they actually were free because I bought that lot for the price and they basically threw these in. This one is a, I don't actually know what he is. I think he might be Dragon Ball. Let me know in the comments if you know, can you see him there? Should we, should we get a little, I can't get him to focus very well, but um, he's like a little wrestler, but he was bundled in with these ones. Now, I don't know if you remember these and these are great. If you don't remember these, if you're too young or I think they were called Wrestlers in My Pocket. Um, and these, I think, used to come in um, cereal boxes. I think it was Frosties. I think you could even get a, um, what's his name? Tony the Tiger, one of these. If I remember correctly, I could be wrong. And I think they originally came in, in uh, Frosties boxes. For those of you that are too young to remember this or know this, when I was a kid, you bought your cereal, and in your cereal box, you'd get a little toy, something like this, or something similar, or, you know, like a little mess around thing. But these aren't actually bad money. This one, I've seen one in yellow go for £10 on eBay. So, and for these being freebies, most of them are going for between £5 and £8. So if I sell all of these, let's say £5 each, there's £15. And there's, what? I don't know what he is, what he's from. I think it's Dragon Ball just because of the face. I don't know if you can see very well, but it's very anime. Something like that anyway. Let's say another five. So let's say there's 20 quid there, let's say, possibly. I've spent 15 quid for everything, by the way. By the way. Um, yeah, da -da -da. yeah, 15 quid for everything. Right, next up. This was, I think I made a mistake here, by the way. I went to a store and they had loads of toys. This is where I got these from. And they had a load of these big toys, these big figures, yeah? And they wanted £5 for two. So I said I bought four for £10 and they threw that in, which was £2 originally. But there was a lot of stuff there. And I think if I put an offer in for all their big toys, which was like another eight or nine, and let's say maybe gone 30 quid for the lot, um, I think I'd probably or maybe 25 quid for the lot. I think I probably could have a lot, and some of them were really, I, I wasn't sure. I didn't want to throw that much money in and them all being worthless. But the, they're all sort of 80s and 90s, and they've got good value. They have, um, averaging around 10 pound each. This Biker Mice from Mars, he's got a little bit of wear there, but 10 pound on eBay they're going for, roughly, eight to 10 pound. Um, Tataraka. I used to be a wrestling fan when I was a boy. Do you remember these? This should flip. It's it's not got a great thing, but that's what they 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 you pull them and they spin like that. Tatanka, I used to love Tatanka. Great wrestler. I think he's still wrestling. Bear in mind he's probably in his like nearly sixty, but I think he is actually still wrestling on the independent scene. Um, Eight ninety nine these are going for. So you know that's good. 
And then I got these two. Now this one I had as a kid, I think, all my kids had it. I can't remember it was me that had it or my kids. But I definitely remember it. I remember these getting chewed off. And I saw it, I thought, well, because I remember these getting chewed off and I can't remember if it was me that did it or, you know, my youngest likes chewing stuff. It could have been him. But maybe it's got a bit of value because these things sort of break. And it, what, this is, where, where's the year on it? Um, 92, so I would have been seven when this came out, so it was probably me that had it, I'd probably chewed the arms off of it. It's G.I. Joe, it's a bad guy, it hasn't got its gun, but these can, some of them are uh, on eBay for around 20 quid. Uh, they're selling for around 10, I reckon I can get 10 to 15 pound for that. That's a good buy. And this thing I couldn't find for ages, and I thought it was a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles bad guy. Um, it's Toy Max. If someone can let me know, because I haven't actually found him yet. He's got a very weird arm. Um, but I'm going to say 10 to 15 pound again. These are the sort of ones that's like, because I don't know where he's from, and I know, where's this, the year on it? 1984. So Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle time, you know, rest, you know Teenage Mutant Turtles and um, Transformers and all that sort of stuff were around back then. <clears throat> Because I don't know what he is, he's not an, a, a, a what you call it, and a bad guy that just sort of like Bebop and Rocksteady from uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are. So because of that, I think he could have some value. I don't know how much, but there we have it. That's that's the lot. I've spent fifteen pound, and I think let's be uh, let's say ten, twenty, thirty, say another ten there, so forty. 50, 60s. I reckon we could have about £90 worth of stuff here. Take away the 15, 75, let, let's say let's say £65 worth of profit for me walking around the thing for, I was only there for half an hour. Um, I will say this about the car boot I got there, and because I got there late, I was walking around and after 15 minutes I was like, oh, there's just nothing I want. There's nothing here. I don't know any. I didn't want to buy clothes. There was lots of clothes. There was lots of tools. I didn't know enough about it. I wanted video games and there was nothing video game wise. Or I wanted um, toys. Because I know a bit about toys. I know old st like stuff like this has a bit of value to it. Um, especially if you can get them for like a pound. Which I, I got them for what? £2.50 each. Give or take. So there is a bit of profit there. Was it £2.50 each? £10? No, probably less. Probably about £2 each. So I knew there was going to be money in them, but there was a lot of stuff, antiques and stuff and bric-a-brac, and I, I just didn't know the value of stuff. And I didn't want to start throwing money around at stuff I didn't know. So I want to stay in my lane. And I think my lane is obviously computer games, none there. Toys, I know a bit about. I know enough about to know if something's got a bit of value to it. Um, and branded stuff like Disney and, like you know, I know that's going to be worth £10. I'd still have liked Nightmare Before Christmas. There's a big uh, fan base and a big collector base for stuff like that. So I always knew that was going to make a bit of money. So <clears throat> I sort of know which direction I'm going in. Today I'm going to put get a load of stuff online. I've got tons of stuff. I've also got, I've got loads of Magic the Gathering. I know I play Magic the Gathering, but I've got loads of cards. I don't know how I'm going to sell them. Any suggestions, let me know down below. And that's the plan for today. But at the moment... Money-wise, you know, we're trying to get to a thousand. I haven't been on the road working this week because there's no work around because of Brexit and COVID and fuel prices. At the moment, I'm on about fifteen pound <laughs> for this week. <clears throat> I've got a load of stuff on Facebook Marketplace, the sofas and stuff. Hopefully, a couple of them will sell. I've got work tomorrow, so I'm going to be on the road tomorrow. So I'm going to make a bit of money tomorrow, um, and hopefully, this unit, which I'm going to pick up in a bit, I'll show you. I'll, I'll put a little picture here so you can see. Going for free. It's very heavy mahogany, apparently. So, and I've seen that some go for around £800. I'm going to try and flip it for around £400. I reckon I can get £400 nice and quick for it. <clears throat> Maybe even put on an eBay auction and sell it that way. Might be the best way to do it. So that's the plan. Get that sorted. Get that in. Get that done. And then, um, <clears throat> sorry, I'm, I'm, my voice is going out. And then we'll see what we can make. We'll see if we can make some real good money. I'm happy with the tanker. I wish I, if I if I was collecting them, I would have kept him, but I don't. I, I collect video games. I collect vintage video games. If anyone's got a vintage uh, like snares 
Sega Mega Drive games they want to give to me, I'll happily take them. Anyway, I best crack on, make some money, get some more stuff online, um, and we'll see, and I'll show you the, um, the unit I'm going to be picking up. Let's crack on.